Hi first graders, we are going to start a new project today and we're going to um, kind of learn about different tools that we can use in art. You all know things like pencils are tools that we can use in art or um, markers or crayons or paint. Um, there's all sorts of things that we can use as tools. And what we're actually going to use for this project is our finger, okay? We are going to do a spring painting of a dandelion. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for spring and summer. I'm ready for warm weather. So when I saw this painting, I thought it would be a really cool project to do with you guys. And I thought it would help us think a little bit more about warmer weather. So I will do that demonstration in just a second. All right, so we are going to start this project by drawing the stem of our dandelion. And I'm going to do that using a skinny Sharpie. And I'm just gonna draw kind of at an angle up like this. And if I want it to be thicker, or parts of it to be thicker, I can use a thick Sharpie. So like that. And then what I'm going to do is go straight up from that and make a little circle. And I'm just going to kind of leave that circle white, but what I wanna do is go out from that circle. So I think what I'm going to do is start like this and go straight out that way, straight out the bottom and make a few of these lines that are really long. So I'm making it look symmetrical. So long and then straight across from it long in all four sides of it. And then I'm going to do it diagonally also. Notice that when I do this, I'm going very slow. One, this makes my Sharpie, the ink, show up better. It makes my Sharpie last longer. And I end up with um, some nicer lines. So now what I'm going to do is come in and make some little shorter lines in between each of those pie shapes. Oops, like that. And then I'm gonna go in between those and make some lines in between each of those small ones that are a little bit longer than the small ones. The next step is to add you're only going to want to use bright colors, colors that you would mm, typically see flowers, I guess I would say. And remember that you want to stir your paint really well to get it nice and bright or vibrant. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just dip my finger in that paint and make random dots. Now I'm only using one finger. Okay, and you can just kind of brush the extra water off on your water cup and then move on to another color. Now you don't want it like dripping off of your finger because that'll make a big mess on your paper and would drip or could drip somewhere where we don't want it to. So it's kind of like we're just making a circle of dots around this 
circle of lines. And we don't want to go way down here. Like I wouldn't go any further than probably here because then we wouldn't really be able to tell that it's a dandelion. You don't want to cover the whole entire stem up. All right, and there you have your dandelion. If you have any questions, please let me know.